Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Raw Facts. We've got Magneto Plasma Drive technology. In addition, we finished researching new sensors a little while before, so let's update some ships. Otherwise, not much has been happening here. The wormhole has just moved and we're moving our fleet up to the wormhole. And with the current fleet strength I'm fairly optimistic that due to all the turretist Gauss cannons on the Bismarcks and the Blüchers we should be able to intercept and destroy yeah, 50 to 60 invader missiles. So unless a big invader task force is arriving through the wormhole, I'm fairly optimistic that this fleet is able to stop them in their tracks. But let's get down to the updates. First of all, we'll have to... Well, not first of all, but one of the things I want to update is the fighter bombers. Essentially, they will need new engines. Currently, all the fast attack craft are using two fighter engines due to standardization, since I hate to research two engines or two kinds of engines, one for the fighters and one for the FACs themselves. I just put two fighter engines on the FACs, which has the added benefit of giving roughly the same speed to the fighters and the FACs. So let's swap out those iron engines. Let's take another look here at the current stats. 9600 uh, 9, speed with a range of 1.2 billion kilometers and with our magnetoplasma drives we get a speed of 12,800 and a range of 1.7. This is due to using higher fuel efficiency here as well. The iron drives were at a fuel efficiency of 0.8 and the new magnetoplasma drives, despite me having forgotten to put it into the name for the component, are using the same engine modifiers of 2, but a fuel efficiency of 0.6 and the size stayed at 4 as well. So, nice gain of speed and range here. What we'll still have to do and research, unless I'm mistaken here, I have to take a quick look myself, I think we still need a new missile fire control, exactly. This is still the old design. I'm not sure, have I actually put up a new... No, I didn't. I forgot to do it. Okay, let's do it now. We'll need a new um, missile fire control. So let's cancel this one and design a new missile fire control. I'll stay at a resolution of 18 for them, so they should be able to target fast attack craft and large ships or mainline ships. The sensor size was 2 if I recall correctly. Let's make a quick check. One tech lower. Yields, yeah, a range of 58.8 this is what is on the Eagles currently, so with the new attack we gain roughly twice the system, uh, distance, which is nice. 
Uh, cost is too high to instant them in, so let's create this one. And let's build another fire control for the anti-missile missiles. I think this was size 2 as well, but to quickly check, let's bring up a Blücher. Missile fire control. Oh, size 1.4. So let's stick to this size as well in order to avoid rearranging too much during the retooling of our craft. So let's create resolution 1. Missile fire control with a size of 1.4. Yeah, nice as well. 16 range instead of the 9 on the older designs. Let's cancel this research as well and bring up our two missile fire controls. Here we go. Let's put seven laps here and four laps for the smaller design. Should be finished by 3rd of October and 24th of September, so about a month. That's okay. But let's go back to our ships here. So, anything else? No, not at the moment. We'll have to bring in the new missile fire control, so let's rename it. It's the Eagle Mark II. I tend to put a new uh, uh, version number once a new engine arrives, so minor updates will be point anything, one, two, three, four, but a major update like a new missile is due to is due a new version number. Okay, let's take a look and let's obsolete the old Bismarck here and let's take a look at the Bismarck. We'll have to switch, no, I already put the new armor here, but we will need eight new engines. The new engines are still under construction at the moment, so nothing to change here for the moment, but we can put in the new sensors. decent additional range as well, but for now nothing else can be changed for the Bismarck. Let's take a look at the Blücher. I'll rename them once uh, we have all the necessary components. We need a new missile fire control here and a new active search sensor in addition to the new magneto plasma drives once the research is completed. Okay, a potential point defense fighter. As I've written in one of the comments, the Railgun technology is actually superior here at the moment to the gas cannons. So I'm not sure if I will be building this fighter actively, but 
it's not a bad idea to have some point defense fighters which would be able to follow the fast attack craft to their target and provide some anti-missile missile defense which is often used versus FACs or fighters so some protection for fighter bombers is at least a good idea so yeah, we can put new armor in here we can put new reactors in here and a new engine which will bring up the speed to 16k ah, should be less once we add the power plants we will need three power for the rail ray guns and the new fusion reactor will provide exactly the three power we need so we end up at a speed of 15k decent range we have all the power we need for the railgun so this looks good for the moment it's a mark 2 as well what else do we need we are still working on commercial engines so let's upgrade the only sensor fighter craft I will be still using new sensor and new engine the sensor, oh, let's start with the engine and the sensor 13k of speed so the fast attack craft should be at around 13k as well add new armor here 13k of speed decent range yeah this looks good so let's rename it the S2 as well the Scharnhorst I'll make a copy but since the only thing we need to update here are the new engines nothing will be done about them at the moment HALTS I mentioned earlier that I'm using the fighter industrial capacity to build up a stockpile of components we need for other ships namely sensors for the Bismarck and engines for our fast attack craft so essentially this is not a working design it lacks fuel for example actually it's the only thing it lacks but since I will not be using fighter sensor fighters with the higher resolutions those are just built to provide the engine and the sensor the same with the medium range sensor the only ship we will be building as I mentioned is the short range one but in addition to the ship itself I'm building a hull here as well that's obsolete the old hull for now and again the hull is only holding a new sensor and a new engine to speed up construction of our real ships here magnetoplasma okay rename this one as well hull and add a E for the engine okay back to real redesigns our heavy fighter 
needs new engines as well. A new short range sensor at the moment. It has a scanning distance of just 730k, which is okay in case the the fleet um, is no longer able to provide an active sensor, so I put in some backup sensors on the Sturmvogels itself, a very small one, just a size of 0.1, since we had the space to, to put them in here. We can put in a new reactor, we should put in a new reactor actually. Lasers already the newest design we have. The fire control should be okay as well. Yeah. And against capital ships, which is where the where those heavy fighters are used, a tracking speed of seven point five K is perfectly fine. It's a rare to meet capital ships with higher speeds and even versus swarm ships, for example, who are traveling at 10 to 11k, 7.5 still giving a decent chance to hit. So this is fine. We need a new reactor, we need new engines and a new search sensor. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Wrong direction. Two of those. In addition to the new search sensor. Here we go. We have 0.5 million additional range, which is nice. I am slightly tempted to put in a new fire control here. We still have some space left. Let's see how large is our current fire control. Fire control has a size of oh, 3. Okay, so with 0.2 size points left, we will not be able to do anything with our fire control, so we'll have to stick with this one for now. We are not able to put in additional armor here, so the only thing we are able to add would be another fuel storage, or if we go lower on the fuel... No, <laughs> the only way to get Armor of 3 would be having no fuel, which is not really an option. So we add more fuel. I stick with 5 small fuel storages actually here, because it provides some redundancy in case the FAC is hit, which might happen. A hit will or would be able to take out a single fuel storage potentially, leaving the ship dead in space, even if only the fuel, sh the fuel storage has been hit. With five small ones, we should be able to continue despite fuel getting hit here. So, anything else we need? Yeah, sure. I need, and this will take away from the fuel again, we need a new reactor. Oh, 0.75 recharge is needed. So let's take a look at power plant design. Power output is 0.6 for 0.1 size, so we will have to 
yeah, we will have to use the larger power reactor than we actually need. Reactor. Let's put a quite small one in here in order to provide some redundancy and backup here as well. So we will stay at the lowest size and due to the very cheap development costs we will instant this one in. Two of those still have enough space. That's the wrong one for small fuel storage. The yeah, small fuel storage. Speed of 12.8. This is nice. It's faster than swarm ships. So, except a couple of fighters and maybe high tech fast tech craft from NPRs, those ships should be faster than any enemies they might need to deal with and with the range of 320k they should be able to outrange most of the enemies so the major points for a beam combatant are fulfilled good speed and good range so that's nice no design errors rename it to the Sturmvogel Mark II okay and this is what we are currently able to do concerning updates we still like the fire control here so our current shipyards we have nine free slipways for the Sturmvogels but first of all we need to retool the yard to our new design retool for the Sturmvogel Mark II will take uh, till October that's okay anything else we can do right now mm, no not really and whoever ah, congratulations somebody gave you a new horn great mm. idiot ah, okay what else do I want to do as you can see I'm currently already producing the pure sensor halts so I'll shorten the construction cycle here and finish construction of the current halts and once they are finished we'll switch to the halts with additional engines we are building our new missile I'll get into designing a new missile for the have I actually done it uh, for our anti-ship missile later on and I'm not sure if I've already started the research here no I haven't but at the moment the anti-missile missile is more important and being able to update and retool our shipyards for our capital ships have priority for a quicker look at the missile our old missile was moving at a speed of 29k and that's a new okay I've obsoleted the engine so we have to get with the stats we can read here speed of 29k range of 9.3 and the hit probability against targets moving at 10k of 46 percent in contrast our new missile is not moving that much faster just 32k 
but it has a range of 15, so more than 50% more than the old design. And most importantly, the hit chance went from 46, it was, I think, up to 73. What I did here is I'm using a smaller engine. It was 0.6 before, and with the saved space, I was able to put in another point of agility, which yields a much better to hit chance since with anti-missile missiles the missile speed is not that important since it mainly serves to prevent being hit by other, uh, other missiles but being able to hit other fast-moving objects is very important so for the anti-ship missile I'll stick to high speed into the large engine. For the anti-missile missiles I've reduced the engine size and due to it the speed and used more agility. Okay, anything else I wanted to mention? Soon we'll finish our better research rate which should be huge help. Are spread out auto mines and civilian mines are helping with the uranium shortage. Actually, our stockpile is rising again. We were below five here before, but it's increased by 1k here simply due to the amount of minerals moved to Earth via mass drivers. As mass drivers. Our colonies are mainly set as source of colonists here at the moment. The only colony I still want to grow is Hanover. We can do nothing about it. Once it reaches 25 I will put it to source of colonists as well. And Berlin is the colony we still want to bring up to speed here at the moment to generate additional trade goods. What does bother me a bit? 133 ships. We got in third shipping line. <laughs> so, shipping, civilian shipping is not one of our problems. We still have too many colony ships for my personal taste. And what is bothering me that we are... Yeah, here's a perfect example. We are moving our infrastructure to the United States colony on Mars. I would much prefer if my civilian ships are moving my privately or civilian produced infrastructure to Berlin where we are having a shortage of infrastructure, a large shortage of infrastructure actually. But it seems that the priority for the shipping line is making a quick buck, which means using the shorter route. So instead of moving all the way to Berlin, they just dropped off on Mars, even if it's not our colony on Mars, but, a, uh, but the colony of another Terran civilization. And as far as I know, there's nothing I can actually do about this. Okay... I think that's it for the moment, so let's start to run the game again. Yep. And 
and due to the snail pace we are having here I'll pause for the moment again hmm. I can't pause at the moment I'm not exactly sure why well, most likely because the game is in limbo at the moment There was some fighting going on earlier, which I saw due to the slowdowns here, or the short ticks I've got. So I'm afraid that the game is even slower than normal, since there's a potential fight somewhere. I have no idea where it is, at least not in one of the systems we have already discovered. But since I've refrained from entering the nebular systems and looking at those at the moment, it might well be beyond one of those nebulas. And nothing is happening. Ah, here we go. Let's see if I can pause now. Okay, with the game crawling along, it looked like we found one or potentially found one of the participants in the war we are seeing here due to the delays. We have encountered a new race in the burden system. And since we've already explored the burden system ourselves, it's pretty safe to say that those are not the original residents of Burden, but a new alien race, which is exploring the Burden system themselves. So, Burden aliens. Minus diplomatic rating at the moment. Military hostile, no, not necessarily. It tends to be hostile once you encounter aliens for the first time it might revert to neutral but maybe it doesn't which might explain why we are seeing a war here somewhere so what do we know it's very likely that this ship is an explorer ship so due to this we'll at geo survey with a question mark here and let's just continue for five seconds and see if their status is changing taking ages again. Okay, it vanished. So let's take a look at the screen here. Nope, still hostile. So yeah, we might have found an unfriendly race here. And due to the game settings, very likely the unfriendly and technically superior race here. So this might get interesting. Let's take a quick look at the current galaxy map. Berlin is located right one point away from Seoul, so this is not good. And due to what we have explored here al uh, already, it's most likely that they're coming from one of those two nebulas. They might be living there, yeah, since we just entered the system with our jump chips and immediately jumped out right again. They might live in the nebula, or they are from one of the systems where the jump points in the nebulas here, which we haven't explored yet, are leading to. So. 
now we not only have invaders knocking on our door or potentially knocking on our door but a uh, most probably hostile alien race as well let's see if we can get them more friendly towards us let's assign a diplomatic team our best at the moment and try to initiate communications and let's see if we can set up another Diplo team for the United States here teams diplomatic unassigned only uh, no really important skills Uh, we might need the terraforming later, but not at the moment. See, no, no, not that high. Not important. And not that important as well. So, create this team. And assign them to the Americans. low level one and assign okay it's by the way it took mm, more than one hour to get here so the game is very very slow with the potential hostilities going on due to this I'll pause again for the moment and here we go our Indian friends at least I have no idea who else could have been the culprit here just blew up one of our civilian ships in Berlin I think I saw something about a detection yeah exactly so the poor freighter detected an alien ship right before it was blown up into space blowing and I dare to say the speed it was moving at was the speed of our civilian freighter so we've got a problem here yeah sensor contact has been lost what kind of tech are they using what we can see here 15 damage missile okay that's that's good <laughs> as we had to zoom they seem to have better weapon techs than we do unless they are using a very large missile which seems unlikely mm, but other than that we have no real idea about their capabilities. The sensor readings here are not reliable since it's just an estimate from the sensor sh uh, strengths our ships are seeing and they make an estimate based on our own tech about the sensor capabilities but still this means we are looking at a fairly strong sensor here uh, let's let's try to design a resolution 20 sensor with a range of 480 what size do we need mm, 480 <laughs> it would have to be size 28 plus I dare to say our alien friends are not using a size 20 plus sensor here more like the size 10 I think so yep yeah, they have better sensor tech than we do obviously but this is to be expected I'm unsure what to do about those buggers at the moment. 
we are about to refit our fleet and one half of our fleet is guarding the wormhole while the other half is sitting on earth for uh, overhauls and refits oh, that's one one that's the one and they will be overhauling for quite some time but at the moment I see no other option than moving our wormhole guards to Berlin to face the more immediate problem we have there than defend against the potential arrival of invaders which haven't shown up in the last couple of years so let's move back to earth refuel, resupply and move to Berlin but I think since this will slow the game down a lot let's take a look if we have any civilians in here yeah, another freighter which will most likely get killed yeah I'll, I'll continue this episode the next time so for now thank you for watching bye bye